Hi, my name is Dharmendra Kumar and welcome to Tips for Net.com video tutorial series. Guys and girls, uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you that uh, how to configure or set up a new broadband connection in order to get internet on your computer or on your LAN and network as well via using a DSL router. And I always remember that uh, you need a DSL router for this process uh, which you will get uh, from your service provider that would be your VSNL or whatever Airtel or Alliance or uh, blah 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 whatever uh, would be your service provider B but you definitely need a DSL router or a DSL modem if you have a DSL modem only then you won't be able to redistribute your connection to multiple computers but if you have a ADSL router then you will definitely be able to um, redistribute your network to your computer one computer as well as a multiple computer by using uh, this ADSL router okay that's right uh, we first of all we need what exactly we need is uh, first of all definitely we need a connection from your service provider broadband um, service provider uh, whether you can go to BSNL if you are in India Airtel Vodafone whatever it would be you get a D, uh, broadband connection from them they will supply you a telephone like this uh, they will supply you a, a DSL router like this that would be either a Wi-Fi router they will provide you or either a simple uh, single port router like this it's a sim single output port a uh, single output port uh, router is this and this router you have we have an option to connect uh, <coughs> only a single computer uh, but uh, we can extend up uh, if, if if this is a router then definitely a DSL router then definitely you can uh, dis redistribute this uh, uh, connection um, into multiple computers by using a hub like this this is a this is a device called hub this is a simple device uh, it's a very cheap and simple device uh, uh, just what you do is that in order to uh, this is this has a sim one one output port okay uh, if you, you if you don't have this device uh, yeah, still you would be able to uh, con uh, connect only a single computer by using this but if you have this device hub then connect this output of this device okay output of this device to uh, the input of uh, this one right this device and connect them all your multiple computers input to this one and output or other end to other LAN computers right but most of the router uh, will come with four in four output five output six output a lot of it, it depends on your device okay uh, so but always remember that if you have a DSL router then you have an option you will definitely uh, connect multiple computers from your broadband connection okay whether that would be a single port router or that would be a multiple output port router but if it is a router then uh, definitely you would be able to connect multiple computers but it's uh, but always remember that, that but if it is a only a DSL modem then you would only be able to connect a single computer from that one okay that's right now uh, we continue <coughs> okay uh, in the market uh, this is a de uh, dealing router uh, the settings and uh, uh, output input ports are almost simple in each and every company manufacturer uh, whatever the company you are using is almost same okay uh, just use your common sense <coughs> all right so I'm using a dealing one okay it comes with an adapter uh, uh, it's a uh, power adapter right this is the power adapter uh, of this uh, in order to supply power to this one okay uh, after once you get your connection from your uh, service provider you will get uh, this modem free of cost from them or either on rent or either you purchase it from market and after that uh, what you need to do is that you will get also this ADSL splitter this uh, ADSL slip splitter what exactly is the, uh, the device does you will get it from your service provider okay 
what exactly it does uh, this is uh, the input of of ADS DSL splitter this is the output of ADSL splitter okay uh, what uh, you, you let's see here yeah? uh, okay I'm sorry uh, you might be watching here that it is written here uh, phone oh no my camera is not so good quality uh, but here it is written phone and it, uh, here it is written modem right modem so uh, phone and modem okay uh, what this device is does is that uh, once uh, connection from your service provider come to this place you insert uh, the cord in this, in this input port this device automatically uh, splits uh, the telephone connection to telephone one and the uh, DSL connection to this output you uh, you cannot interchange you cannot interchange you cannot uh, insert your phone connection to uh, this one and you, you cannot insert your uh, modem connection to this one okay you have to insert uh, t uh, first of all you need to uh, see that where it is written uh, phone input and where it is written modem modem input ok uh, just see a uh, watch and uh, insert the appropriate device input to this one ok phone into phone and uh, uh, what do you call um, this modem into modem one right so let's see <coughs> I have got a connection from BSNL BSNL uh, this is the wire which I got connection from BSNL one okay now I am uh, connecting this device to the to the so okay now I have connected now I have connected this device uh, BSNL input to this one uh, now I am connecting the output of this device to this phone look at this phone okay oh, where it is written phone I will connect it to the phone out right phone is here phone is here I will connect my telephone to this one and mo this is modem this is modem right and this is the DSL input for the modem here we have to uh, insert the connections from here to here right modem output modem input right just one second okay uh, now I am inserting this the output of this DSL to the input of uh, look at here output from here to the input of the a DSL router right okay I have you connected this one from this modem into it always remember that don't insert this one uh, to phone input right phone output phone is always connected from phone output okay now see uh, there is a USB output here you can also use this USB output uh, in order to connect internet but the limitation is that USB have a limited uh, transfer speed so uh, it would not be you would not be able to achieve your full flames uh, speed of your service provider so in order to do that I always recommend you to uh, use the LAN output okay to your computers or network okay so uh, this is my output cable which I will connect to my computer <coughs> okay uh, this is the LAN output uh, you will get internet in this connection from this router okay now we'll look at here the, I, am, I had connected this one uh, to this will be connected to the to the LAN port of the PC okay here is the LAN port on the PC okay if we have to connect this is this one if you have to connect a single computer you connect here right if you connect directly into the computer if you have to operate if you have to operate internet on a single computer then uh, insert the output of the modem or the diesel router to this one right or if you need to if you need to uh, operate uh, internet 
use internet on multiple computers then I will advise you to insert this uh, internet connection output from your router into hub or switch okay Let's see your right eight computers are connected with this uh, hub now I am inserting this one to the to the hub input okay now automatically we need not no not to do any settings nothing uh, right here in hardware in order to operate uh, in order to work internet on rest of the LAN computers okay just that's it the rest the next thing is that uh, hardware part is over and uh, uh, this is uh, the power supply here we need to insert the power supply cable uh, adapter which you have got from uh, the modem on router okay, I will connect here C this is now connected power this is the power on off switch okay of the router and this one is a reset uh, you might be watching here reset is written here uh, actually I will tell you that each and every router